America's strategic commander warns of nuclear threats from CCP, Russia, North Korea, and Iran. Intro. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our in-depth analysis of the recent testimony given by the commander of the United States Strategic Command, Admiral Charles Richard, before the Senate Armed Services Committee. In his testimony, Admiral Richard painted a grim picture of the nuclear threats facing the United States, highlighting China. Russia, North Korea, and Iran as the primary adversaries. This is the first time the U.S. government has officially designated China and Russia as strategic nuclear rivals, underscoring the grave concern within the military and intelligence communities about the growing threat posed by the Sino-Russian axis. Admiral Richard's testimony focused on the capabilities and intentions of these adversarial nations, emphasizing their possession of nuclear weapons and their their willingness to use them against the United States. He stressed that the U.S. Strategic Command is tasked with deterring aggression, conducting global strikes, and operating the Department of Defense's Global Information Network. The command's responsibilities encompass a wide range of capabilities, including land-based missiles, nuclear submarines, and BR, BR-1 and BR bombers. Admiral Richard emphasized the importance of these assets in maintaining a credible nuclear deterrent and countering the strategic threats posed by China, Russia, and other potential adversaries. Threats from China and Russia Admiral Richard specifically highlighted the growing nuclear capabilities of China and Russia, describing them as two nuclear-armed peer competitors that are actively modernizing their nuclear arsenals. He noted that China is developing a new generation of nuclear-capable missiles, including hypersonic weapons while Russia is upgrading its existing nuclear forces and developing new delivery systems. The commander also expressed concern about the growing alignment between China and Russia, describing it as a pernicious relationship that poses a significant threat to U.S. interests. He emphasized that the two countries are cooperating in various military and technological areas, including the development of advanced weapons systems. U.S. response In response to these threats, Admiral Richard outlined the U.S. Strategic Command's comprehensive strategy to deter and counter nuclear aggression. This strategy includes a mix of nuclear deterrence, cyber warfare, electronic warfare, missile defense, and intelligence gathering. The command is investing heavily in modernizing its nuclear arsenal, developing new and more capable delivery systems, and enhancing its ability to conduct precision strikes. It is also working closely with allies and partners to strengthen global security and deter potential adversaries. Implications for U.S. foreign policy Admiral Richard's testimony has significant implications for U.S. foreign policy. It underscores the need for a strong and resolute stance against China and Russia and it provides a clear mandate for the Biden administration to prioritize countering these threats. The testimony also highlights the importance of maintaining a strong and credible nuclear Deterrent. The United States must continue to invest in its nuclear forces to ensure that it can deter potential adversaries and maintain strategic stability. Conclusion. In conclusion, Admiral Richard's testimony paints a sobering picture of the nuclear threats facing the United States. China and Russia are rapidly modernizing their nuclear arsenals and aligning their strategic interests, posing a significant threat to U.S. security. The U.S. Strategic Command is taking the necessary steps to deter and counter these threats, but it is essential for the Biden administration to adopt a strong and comprehensive foreign policy that prioritizes countering the Sino-Russian axis. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, share, and smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.